This demonstration video will show how you can add a visual control at design time when using Visual Basic within Visual Studio. Launch Visual Studio. Scroll down until you see this Create a New Project. Click on it and you will then be presented with this dialog box. Ensure that you can see here Visual Basic Windows and Desk top select this project template and then click next choose a suitable name for the project name and i'm going to type in here demo and you will note that demo is also put down here for the solution name and then click next you will then be presented with this dialog box which says additional information and it's now a case of clicking on to create and waiting while it goes off and creates the Windows format for you and you'll see that appearing now. If you consider the Solution Explorer for a moment you can see here that the name of the solution of demo is the name I give it when I created this Windows Form application. You would usually see in this area the toolbox. However, I must have shut that down on a previous occasion I used Visual Studio. If it is missing, as you can see here, then it's easy to get back. You come up here to where it says View, click on it, and come down here to where it says Toolbox, click on that, and you can see the toolbox now appears here. If you note here, it says Common Controls, and the Common Controls are listed here. If you wanted those not to be in view, you simply come to this little arrow here, click on it, and you can see that they are hidden from view. However, I want them to be present, so it's a case of coming back here, clicking on the arrow, and you can see the drop-down list of the common controls, the ones that you would use more frequently when building your graphical user interface, are all appearing here. Now it is a case of drawing your controls onto the form, and I'm going to draw a button onto the form, so you come here, select the button, come over here and drag the mouse to the size you want the button to be and release. And then you can position the button where you like on the form. Now I'm going to draw another button on the form. So you come to the toolbox, click on it, select the button, come over to the window, hold the left mouse button down while you drag the mouse I didn't emphasize that enough before and then release and you can see button 2 is there I'm now going to position it and as you position it you'll notice here that this line appears and that is to help you position it with respect to button 1 and if I now come to here you can see I can make the button bigger and that line appears so now you can see the button is the same width as the button below. The method I've just demonstrated for drawing buttons on the form is the one I prefer but there is another way you can come to the toolbox click on it highlight the button and double click on it and you can see it appears on the form here and now it's a question to going to some of the sizing handles and dragging the button to the size that you wish it to be. So you can see there's two ways of doing it there. Another way to draw a button on the form is to go to the toolbox click on it and I'm going to click on the button once come over to the form and click it once and you can see the button appears and now it's a case of grabbing hold of a handle and dragging it to the size that you wish it to be all the controls can be drawn onto the window as you've just seen I'm going to choose another one from the toolbox and I'm going to come to where it says picture box here I'm going to click onto that come into here and I'm going to simply drag it to the appropriate size and there you can see a picture box has been drawn onto the form now clearly it's got the name picture box because I can stick a picture in it but I'm not going to show you that here I'll show you how to do that in a later video before you move on to look at the next video in the playlist have a go at doing this you can see I've put three buttons onto the form and have a look at how they're positioned and what their size are and here you can see I've put two picture boxes note their size and their position in other words 
reproduce what you can see here in the design view of the form. Now come up to here where it says demo, which is the name of the solution and indeed the name of the project. Click on it and the program that you've just developed, the graphical user interface you've just developed, will run. And here you can see it. And what we've got here is the runtime of the program that you designed here. But look in this region and you can see that the picture boxes that appeared here in the design view do not appear here. Now the reason for that is I haven't put any pictures in them yet, so they will not show up here. But of course the buttons do. I'd like you to also note button 1. Do you see it's got a blue outline compared to the other buttons? And that's because that one has what's called the focus, which means if you keep your eye on it and I hit the space bar, watch what happens to button one. Can you see it's being selected? I'll do it one more time. And that means if it's got the focus, it will respond to me pressing the space bar on the keyboard. Of course, it will also respond to me clicking on it with the mouse. So if I go over button one, with the mouse, you can see it's changed to a light blue background. And if I click on it, you can see that it gives the impression of being clicked. If I come over to button 2, you can see that that's gone light blue. Now I've gone over to button 2 using the mouse, and I can click onto that. And I can come over here to button 3 and click onto that. Now, clicking onto a button or pressing the spacebar define what are referred to as events. If I click onto button 1 using the mouse, that's referred to as a mouse click event. And you can attach code to those events, such that when somebody clicks button 1, you as the programmer will attach some code that will execute when they click button 1. Likewise, when they click button two and likewise, when they click button three. And of course, the code that executes can be different for each of the buttons. But it's clear that what we're looking at here is something referred to as an event driven program. This application is waiting for you as the user, not the programmer, the user to click onto a button and you as the programmer will have to write the code that will respond to the clicking of the buttons. Before we consider how we add code that will respond to the clicking onto the buttons, we first of all need to consider the properties of the buttons and not only of the buttons, but of everything else that will appear on the graphical user interface, and in addition, the properties of the form. If you consider the text that appears on these three buttons, it is quite clear that they are meaningless to any graphical user interface that you would wish to design. More typical text values for buttons would be, instead of having button 1 here, you might see the word previous. That would allow you to go and look at the previous data that was in a database. Or this one could be next, to go and look at the next record that's in a database. And this one here could be quit for ending the connection to the database. Now the next video in the playlist will show you how to change the text property of these buttons and also other things we can change about the buttons as well as the form and other controls that might appear on a form. How do you alter the properties of the things you draw on the form? And this is the key at design time. We can look at how we do this at runtime at some later point in the playlist. Please consider subscribing to the channel and click the bell to ensure you get an update every time I upload a video. Maybe you would like to consider supporting the development of these free videos via Patreon. In addition, why not follow me on Twitter and also check out the supporting website.